Welcome to Review Nation, and today I am reviewing Sea of Tragic Beasts by Fit for an Autopsy. They released an album last year, and this is an album I missed last year. I definitely explored Fit for an Autopsy, uh, the Sea of Tragic Beasts, uh, throughout December. And as I was listening to it, I was really surprised with this record. Because not only this, this record is a very heavy and it's got elements of death core along with elements of death metal as well. And it really reminds me of a band like Thy Art Is Murder who released an all right album last year. But this album was so much better than Thy Art Is Murder's album. It's because of the different intricacies on this album, such as the guitars, the drums, and not only that, the vocals. It's just such a transitional album, it really is. And today I'm going to give you my thoughts on what I thought about The Sea of Tragic Beasts. So first of all, let's talk about the production. Now, Will Putney is the actual lyricist, is the actual mastermind of, of Fit For An Autopsy. And you can really tell throughout this album, the mastering, the mixing, the overall production is just fucking fantastic. It really is. And I just love the overall little nuggets in this album, such as a, a throwback to other melodies of other songs, which is very cool. The really emotional guitar solos you're getting throughout this album as well. When I was sitting down and listening to this, really, really surprised of how good deathcore can be. Because not only that, it also incorporates elements of death metal, such as you've got some death metal guitar riffs. You get some fake breakdowns towards the breakdown. The very unpredictable album really is. Sure, there are some slower songs, but there are also some fast and heavy and in your face songs as well. And not only that, this is definitely a good gateway band to deathcore in my opinion. Now this is the first ever Fit For An Autopsy album I checked out. And I know they've released a few other albums before The Sea of Tragic Beasts. But I'm definitely going to check those out. But I feel that this album is one of the best albums of 2019. Will Putney is an absolute genius when it comes to lyrics. It's basically you could say it's a concept album or an overall themed album where this is talking about humanity themselves. Humanity stuffing up the world, humanity completely destroying Earth. Narrows down the dark natures of humanity, dark natures of mankind, and how we could be our demise. And not only that, it's also pointing out political views as well. And overall, this album flows like water. It really does. This album's around about 40 minutes. Such a very enjoyable album. Now, at times, this album is so much fun. Even though the lyrics are really dark, this album is fun. So it kicks off with the Sea of Tragic Beasts. With intricate guitar riffs, a nice... Gajira slide. I can't believe I said that, but there is a Gajira slide. It sounds something out of something out of a Gajira, the guitar riff. And not only that, Fit for an Autopsy really put their own spin on things. Joe's vocals, I believe that's Joe, are absolutely incredible in this. They are because he incorporates those really harsh, aggressive vocals, and then sings cleanly throughout the chorus. And I just love how melodic this chorus is. And not only that, you get some nice, you get you get a nice build up towards the breakdown, but the breakdown becomes a fake down. And once it becomes a fake down, it moves on to the breakdown because overall the song structure is very different to a normal deathcore song. <laughs> See, you try to beast by ideally being maybe humanity themselves. And I just love the overall artwork. The artwork is just absolutely fantastic. The skull with the blood bleeding into the ocean. Maybe this signals it's a cycle. We are going to be extinct in the end. The lyrics overall really narrowed down to the views of cattle decapitation, in my opinion. Very deep, dark lyrically about the human demise and climate change and everything like that. You'd say the fifth from an autopsy is very similar with the lyrics as well. So then it leads on to No Man Without Fear. Fantastic, loving the guitarist, loving loving the overall vocals as well by Joe. And you get some really nice moments. The pre chorus is fantastic. Overall, this is definitely talking about political views here. It's a crazy element of surprise you're getting throughout this song. 
and it's a chorus. It's a very catchy chorus, but it's mainly harsh vocals as well. I love the drum feels throughout the song. The drum feels are fantastic. You get tight little accents. A nice change in seeds throughout the verse three. And I really do enjoy the overall surprise. It's a very well structured song. It's quite an unpredictable song. So then it leads on to Shepard. Introduction, loving those guitar licks. So it's really nice guitar licks. Verses are really cool. The Joe's vocals are again absolutely fantastic, and the chorus is so damn good. The main star in Shepherd is the drums. The drums are just absolutely fantastic. I just love the crazy feels you're getting throughout this song, and not only that, you get a nice breakdown throughout the conclusion of the song. And when Joe screams, Man is the cancer, there is so much emotion conveyed in the vocal performance. I love how fast it, it is at the start of the song and then it becomes really slow at the end. It leads on to Your Pain Is Mine, very emotional song again. Joe sings cleanly throughout this song. He does, especially throughout that chorus. But it's a very hard hitting song. I love the blast beat throughout the song, tight little cymbal accents as well. The drums are absolutely fire again on this song. <laughs> Really nice intricate guitar moments. Love the guitar moments. Love that riffage as well. Make it quite repetitive because this really reminds me of uh, part two of Sea of the Tragic Beast. And that's only one negative of this song is that it's sort of repetitive. Your pain is mine. I think it might be part two of the actual title track of the Sea of the Tragic Beast because it sounds very similar, the, the overall structure of the song. And I love how melodic it is, especially throughout the chorus. Nice guitar moments, really nice guitar moments. Nice chord progression as well. The bridge part of the song is the most powerful part. Powerful part when you just got the drums and you got the nice, you got sort of the bass, which you can actually hear the bass throughout the bridge part. This is when you can hear Joe's amazing vocal come to work, leads on to an absolutely fantastic breakdown. And when he screams, Your bird is mine! There's an absolutely incredible breakdown. You just feel like banging your head and you just feel so dirty Listen to it. I love how they convey that much crazy energy towards the listener. I really do enjoy it, but I just feel slightly repetitive, especially throughout the first half of the song. So then it leads on to Mirrors, which is another great song. The introduction, you get a really nice ambient feel throughout. Then you get some nice clean vocals as well. But then all of a sudden it hits you right in the fucking face. It does, especially with the crazy blast beats as well throughout the song and the really fast tremolo pickings as well. This song starts slow and then it builds up and builds up and quite, it becomes quite a magnum opus of the actual album itself. It's a crazy transitional song. It's a really interesting sort of breakdown. The refrain of this song is just absolutely fantastic. Tiny Angels and Tiny Tell, Contradictions I Know So Well. Overall the lyrics are so damn strong. Will Putney is an amazing composer, incorporating so much emotion throughout these songs as a deathcore band as well. It's very hard to convey emotion as a deathcore band, in, in my opinion. Fit for an Autopsy is a very unique deathcore band because they incorporate different elements of different genres. They incorporate deathcore along with death metal. This is more of a deathcore song, but they incorporate death metal elements. <laughs> move on to a speed bump which is unloved now unloved is a good song but i just feel it's slightly generic it's a slightly generic song like it's slow and then it's fast and it's very predictable and it's a shorter song it's a shorter song on the album unloved is a filler song on this album it's got a really good chorus joe growls unloved unloved there is a lot again a lot of sadness conveyed in this song and the lyrics are again pretty strong but i think sonically it's a little bit weak all right 
so what leads to probably one of my favorite songs off the album is Mourn. I love this song. I really do. It is absolutely crazy. Amazing guitar solos. You get amazing drums as well. I love the feels throughout the song. And that chorus, will they mourn for me? A dying memory. I love that chorus. The chorus is melodic. Incorporates cleaner vocals as well throughout the chorus. It's sort of an overlay or something with his vocals and I just love it. I love how fast and heavy this song gets and it's the overall element of surprise you get throughout this song. One negative is there's a bit of a weak breakdown throughout this song. I wanted a bigger and powerful breakdown but that chorus man, that chorus is so damn melodic. I absolutely love it. You can actually hear the bass throughout this song as well. Without that bass the sound wouldn't be as in depth as the sound is on this album. Then it leads on to Warfare, which is another hard-hitting, aggressive song. One of the heaviest songs off the album, that's for sure. This is some really strong tremolo picking as well. I feel like this is another sort of a generic deathcore song in my opinion. There are some really nice moments throughout this song. You get a nice breakdown and you can tell this is definitely a mosh pit song because this is an absolutely chaotic fucking crazy song. It just actually works throughout the album. It really does. It leads on to Birds of Prey is another fantastic song. One of the longest songs off the album, but damn, one of my favorite songs as well. Guitar moments, some really nice drumming as well, but the chorus, Eyes in the sky, have you under control? I love the melody of it, and the melody just seeps into your brain after your initial listens, and I just love that. You get a really nice breakdown throughout the song. Yeah, man, I gotta say, this is probably my favorite song of the album. I love it. I love it to bits. I love how I love Joe's vocals. He incorporates those cleaner vocals throughout this throughout the song, along with those aggressive vocals as well. And the outro is just fantastic. It's just a brilliant song. Throughout Birds of Prey, you get a really nice guitar solo, a fucking great guitar solo. it's just fantastic it's just a fantastic song overall i love it this is a great deathcore song this is what i want fit for an autopsy to do all the time and not create some generic deathcore song that we heard that we heard in unloved and warfare but i can understand why they did that it's because it's because to really mix up the flow of the album up and i do really appreciate those songs as well so then to close off the album, we get Napalm Dreams, a very good song in my opinion. This song's got everything. It's got absolutely everything. Harsh, aggressive vocals, clean vocals, especially throughout Eden's Garden of Fire, but yet still quite harsh. But there are some nice breakdowns throughout the song. This song, again, it's just absolutely fantastic. It really is. Drum rolls throughout the bridge and a nice bass line you're getting throughout this song. It's just absolutely a fantastic way to conclude the album. One of the best, we we'll definitely agree that Name Palm Trees is a fantastic closer to what is a fantastic album. So overall, Fit for an Autopsy, See Your Tragic Beast has my approval. I enjoyed it for what it was. I love the elements of surprise. You can tell they've been inspired by Gajura, guitar work, slide as well, and the use of the pinch harmonics you get throughout some of these songs. An unpredictable album. This album does flow very well. And Will Putney is a fantastic lyricist. He creates amazing songs as well, lyrically. After you read the lyrics, what can I do to improve my self-being? I love that reflection of things as well. To see a tragic beast fit for an autopsy, I'll give this a solid 8 out of 10. One of the best albums of 2019, for sure. What, probably the best deathcore album of 2019. It's just, It was just absolutely fucking fantastic. It really was. And an 8 is pretty solid in my opinion. So guys, comment below if you enjoyed this re review. And so keep the discussion going in the comment section below. Subscribe if you want. And I'll see you in the next one.